Question number 15. Jessica is buying a pair of shoes for $32. She's also buying seven pairs of socks. Her total bill before tax is less than, oh, I already know how to write that, less than $47.75. All right. Write an inequality that best describes the cost of one pair of socks. So they do give us the letter that we're going to use for the socks. Okay, here's how I'd write it. First, the shoes. You're automatically paying $32 because you're buying shoes. But in addition to that, you're paying for seven pairs of socks, which means seven times some variable. If you don't use a C, it's not wrong, but you're supposed to use a C because they do tell you in the problem to use a C. Uh, they don't tell you to solve this problem, so this right here is your answer. 